the issue like this. Uh, we've had long-standing uh, concerns about uh, extremist uh, uh, and sometimes even violent uh, activities uh, of uh, uh, various forces, including those who propagate uh, Khalistan. Uh, and uh, it, for many years we have been taking it up. Uh, I'm now restricting this to the UK. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, trying to get the government here to understand that uh, while we, we certainly as a fellow democracy understand uh, the importance of freedom of expression and uh, uh, of speech, uh, they should be on guard against the misuse of these freedoms. Uh, misuse of these freedoms to threaten uh, diplomatic representation uh, in the UK uh, and to uh, advocate causes uh, in a manner in which uh, it would justify uh, violence and uh, extremism. I think after the incidents which uh, happened earlier this year, I think the gravity of the situation is uh, sharply recognized. Uh, we have uh, seen uh, some steps taken uh, as a consequence of that. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's not uh, a static situation where we say there's this problem and there's that response. I think it's, an, uh, it's obviously a, a continuing issue and it has different aspects of it. Uh, uh, some of it also related uh, uh, to the High Commissioner's own travels here uh, within the UK. Uh, so, uh, our expectation is uh, that uh, uh, the, you, the government here would give uh, the fullest protection uh, to a foreign diplomatic mission, would do it in a manner in which it would allow our diplomats to carry out their activities uh, in an in a, uh, unrestricted uh, manner. Uh, and that uh, keeping in mind the relationship itself, uh, also uh, take a firm stance uh, against uh, advocacy of violence uh, and of extremism. Uh, your question regarding uh, uh, the leader of opposition, uh, Mr. Keir Stam, um, uh, we had a very, very good chat. Uh, uh, you know, I, he, was, he was keen to get an understanding uh, of the uh, state of our ties, 